You're watching the Northeastern News Program that keeps you up to date, aware, and informed on all things related to Northeastern High School. This is High Street Morning News. Good morning, Northeastern. I'm Emma Sadowski. And I'm Alex Raymond. And today is Wednesday, November 23rd, 2016, Cycle Day 4. Let's start it off. Hey, everybody. Time is running out to order your yearbook, so you need to order it. Might I tell you that our yearbook has won a national award for being the best, so unless you want to pay more, you should order now because the sale will end after Friday. All right, the time has arrived. Musical season is upon us. This show's year is the new release newly released smash hit The Sister Act and will be on the last weekend in February. Auditions are coming up quickly so now is the time to act. Please stop by the library for your audition packet as soon as possible. Be sure to read everything carefully and sign up for your audition time slot. Auditions will be held on November 30th and December 1st in the music area from 3 to 6 p.m. There's only one audition workshop. This year, it is on November 29th from 5.30 to 7 on stage. Please plan to attend. If you have any questions about anything, be sure to text Mr. Mars at 818-5509 or at his email at marsjanybobcast.org or ask one of the dramatics officers, Lauren Bass, Hunter Roof, Braylon Sowers, Abby Osborne, and Mason Walheim. The Tracks Move event will be taking place today during AP third and fourth periods, all students will receive the tracks ticket marking period one and the top 50 students from each grade level for marking period one are invited to attend. If you are unsure if you qualify to participate, ask a teacher. Everybody has the option to attend or not, but if you do attend, you must stay there the entire time. The movie today is Daddy's Home, starring Mark Wahlberg and Will Ferrell. Anyone who is taking the SAT on Saturday, December 3rd, can sign up with Mr. Brown in room 405 for a preparation course. This could be individualized or done in a small group session depending on your interest. Be sure to sign up because time is running out. We'll be right back after this short commercial break. I'm thankful for Friday night football games and getting lit with the student section. Let's go. I'm thankful for my mom, my dad, my brothers, Jesus Christ himself. I am thankful for my boyfriend, Dylan Wagner. <laughs> I'm thankful for my friends and my family. All right, you know, I'm thankful for, you know, my family, my football brothers, you know. I want to thank the great man above, God. Yeah, and that's it, man. Family, friends, football, God. So you probably think students have it rough when they come to a new school, but what about teachers? Here's our own High Street's Tyler Funk reporting another new teacher here at Northeastern. A couple of words to describe what Mrs. Giuliano, the new ninth grade science teacher, enjoys doing would be explosions, bangs, and booms. But before teaching, she had to learn everything about it. Coming out of high school, I had no clue what I wanted to do. I knew I was good at chemistry, so I went in as a chemistry major at Susquehanna University. And then my friend said, oh, education classes are so easy, easy A. I was like, okay, I need an easy A. So I joined education um, after my first two classes. I really enjoyed it. She taught at a variety of different places in Pennsylvania. So I was born and raised in Massachusetts. And then I have teaching experience in Zeons Grove, Pennsylvania, and also um, Harrisburg City. Over the summer, I was working there in the middle of school. She teaches high school students now in Northeastern. But before that, she taught middle school students in Harrisburg. I did teach 7th and 8th grade. I liked it because it was easier and you can get away with doing a lot more things. I was teaching some physics in 8th grade and a little bit of chemistry, which is nice to have, be able to teach a few different things. But I do like that I can go into a lot more detail and a lot more specific subjects in the high school. She doesn't have any kids, but has a couple of animals by her side. I have a seven-year-old American Bulldog. Um, he is my best buddy. He make, makes me happy when I go home. And then I have two female rats that are in the corner of my classroom that everyone enjoys. Um, I don't know if they like science, but they like me, so that's good enough. It's not only in a room where she meets new people, but it's everywhere around the school. 
I'm pretty much meeting a new person every time I leave my room, which is really nice. The staff here is super nice, and the kids, for the most part, are really great. Some of them know my name, and I don't know their name, but it's working. Tyler Funk, reporting for High Street Media. Good morning, everyone. Here are today's sports announcements. Starting Monday, December 7th, indoor track practices will be on Mondays and Wednesdays from 7.30, 7 to 8.30 p.m. in the Fitness Center with Coach Bradley. If you have any questions, please see Coach McCollum. Hey, seniors, the fruit is arriving on Wednesday, November 30th at noon. We want all seniors to be involved with the fruit unloading, checking, and distribution. Please see your fourth and fifth period teachers to make arrangements to help. Come to the ninth grade gym to get your assignment. And if you need a hand truck, we need, oh, and if you have a hand truck, we need as many of those as soon as possible. But make sure you label them. If you want to bring your hand truck in early, see Miss Newcomb in the library. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Nekanizic, Miss Newcomb, or Mr. Cook. We also have some attendance award winners to announce. From November 7th to November 11th, we have Brandon Michael, Blake Bolin, Cody Slesser, and Christopher Messina. And from November 14th to the 18th, we have Richard Lambert, Natalie Martin, Harley Kanunchuk, and Delaney Zinn. Congratulations to all those winners. And you guys can go to the ninth grade office to claim your prize. Now here's the lunch menu. Today's lunch will be French toast with sausage. Sandwich of the day is chicken patty or Italian sub, and there will be meat lover's pizza in the pizza line. For Tuesday's breakfast, we're having bagel fulls. And Tuesday's lunch will be make your own burrito bowl with the fixins. Sandwich of the day is cordon bleu or ham and cheese on croissant and there will be ham and pineapple pizza in the pizza line. We'll see what the weather is like with me right after this. Soccer and my mom. I love my mom. I'm thankful for Olivia. I'm thankful for Nick. My friends and my family. Football. I'm thankful for my car and everything I have in life. I'm thankful for food. All right, looking at the weather right now, it looks like it's about 29 degrees out, pretty chilly with a uh, five mile per hour wind. We're gonna take it to the five day. And it looks like we're down and freezing most of the week, 34, 38, uh, some showers Thursday and Friday, partly cloudy on Saturday, and back up to 49 on Sunday. Back to you guys at the desk. That is it from us. Remember to go to nhsbobcats.org to see all the announcements for today, including the announcements that you did not see on our show. From all of us here at High Street Morning News, we wish you a fantastic day and happy Thanksgiving. Have a great weekend and stay classy, Northeastern.